From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello there, and welcome to another Ropecast. Hi, Peter. How are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. But、uh, you don't look so good. Are you sitting on something? Is there something on your mind? Well, yes, actually. I've been thinking about something you said recently. Uh huh. You were speaking about when Germans refer to the future, and you said they use the present form of the verb.、Uh-huh. In fact, they use the present form for just about anything. <laughs> well, yeah, but I—I I mean, I was exaggerating a little bit here, I guess. Well, you know what I thought. What? The Germans are a lazy bunch. What do you mean? They—they <laughs> <laughs> they really do make this one form do for just about everything. Oh come on! I mean, you know, this was just—you were joking. This was a podcast, right?、We're、I have a little to... list if you're interested. Okay, go ahead, give it to me. If you say "ich gehe," right? This might be present. Yeah. Uh huh. It might it, it mean,、would... um, for example, "ich gehe jetzt." I'm leaving right now. Uh huh. Which is kind of future, but present oriented yeah, as well. Yeah, you're sort of sort of getting your coat. Yeah. Yeah, and then we would say "ich gehe." Right. Okay, and in English you would say, "I'm leaving. I'm going." So in a continuous form. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, but、well, we don't have that. Well, sort of. We don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you might say "ich gehe" for something that happens regularly or from time to time. Uh, right. Like uh, I go to school. Ich exactly. Ich gehe in die Schule. I、yeah. go to school. Yeah. But I think you、uh-huh. also say "ich gehe." You use the present when telling a story, narrating something that happened some time ago, in the past. Like when? You know, if you're just telling a story, like、um, something dramatic happened to you.、Uh, ah, okay. Ich gehe in die Kneipe und. Ah, yeah. You would you would use another syntax, another order of the words. Very often, you would sort of think say things like. Da gehe ich in die Kneipe und da sagt der doch zu mir. So you're using、oh. present forms, aren't you? Well, true enough. Yeah. So you use the present for the present, you use the present for the future, you use the present for the past. You're lazy. Uh, well. Okay, granted, in a way, yeah. But hey, what about this bar story that I just told? Yes. You do that too. Me. Nah, well, not you personally. The, the British, or the well, any native speaker of English,、um, that very same story. Now you go ahead and tell it. How would you say that? You know, you're sitting somewhere with friends, and you tell it. Oh an, yeah, you got me there.、Uh, okay, I, uh, well, yeah. Put your money where your mouth is. Now tell everybody how you would say that in English. That story. Yeah, just think. I go into this bar and I see a guy sitting there, and yeah. I'm using the present. Right, and you are referring to the past. That's right. So, could we at least agree on that Germans are lazy and the British are half lazy? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On that compromise, I think we can end that podcast. <laughs> Fine. And we will go right now and have a beer. <laughs> That's fine with me. Okay. This is the future for us. Bye. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. You know what's unfair? What? That you're a native speaker of English and I'm not. Oh, you're a native speaker of German. Yeah, but we're speaking English. Yeah, that's your problem.